What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today man, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on kind of how to improve your offense and kind of the best offense to run to help you guys go 12-0 for Galaxy Opal Glen Rice. If you guys don't know, um, I've been uploading like the regular how to go 12-0 video and the defensive settings video and you guys absolutely killed the support on both of those videos, man. I said 200 plus likes on both of them. The first one's about to hit a thousand likes already and the other one I think is at like 500 likes or something like that. So either way, you guys absolutely killed the support. So I really just want to say thank you guys for that. If you guys do enjoy this video and this video does help you guys out, be sure to leave a like on it. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. If you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. So touching up on the lineup here, what I'm going to kind of do is just kind of explain to you guys what really is like the best thing to do. Um, honestly, just ignore my bench for now. That's not even what I'm worried about. In the starting lineup, though, we do have Draymond. Um, I do think you'd need a taller point guard, honestly, at this point. Um, the only really way that you don't is if you have a guy like Wade or a guy like, um, I mean, obviously, you guys see, I still use Curry off the bench. Obviously, he's my favorite player. But you guys still can get away with, like, you know, smaller guards like that. But all I'm going to really say for the one and two position here is just make sure you guys have somebody that can do the whole peekaboo thing around screens. Um, I'm going to kind of get into that when we get into the gameplay. But guys that are really good for that are like Dwayne Wade, T-Mac, Brandon Roy, Walter Davis, all those sort of kind of guys. Curry is really good for that. Um, so, yeah, I do recommend, like I talked about the defensive one, though, to have like an oversized player in one of these positions here. So that's why I do have Draymond at the point guard position. And that's why T-Mac is more of my like peekaboo kind of player. Um, so yeah, as far as your one, two, three, four, and five position goes, highly recommend it that they all have quick draw and they all have range extender. Center is the only one that you don't necessarily have to have range extender in. I don't think Wilt has it and that's okay with me. I don't ever, I'm not taking limitless range threes with Wilt. Um, I don't think he does. Um, let's just see really quick. I, yeah, I don't think he does, which is fine. So yeah, he doesn't have range extender which is fine, but all, everything else you have to have range extender and it's by far the most important thing to be able to shoot the ball from deep and stuff like that. Um, the only real important badge that I think you should have on your center is actually quick first step just because it'll help you blow by a lot of centers a little bit easier, kind of give you some bailout buckets late in possessions and late in shot clocks and stuff like that. So I highly recommend having that. Outside of that though, like I said, everybody just needs to have quick draw and that's really all that matters is like quick draw range extender and then like if you really want to get into it like i said quick first step is kind of important as well touching into playbooks here um the number one playbook i like to use obviously is the miami heat 13 playbook um it's by far the best one in my opinion as far as plays to run and as far as getting three point plays and stuff like that so honestly if you guys are more of a three point shooter and you guys want to get threes and stuff like that i do recommend using the 13 heat playbook um however the bucks playbook is the best playbook to run with a five out now this deep hash rim running stuff that i know a lot of you guys know about already i'm going to touch up on that in this video the bucks playbook is by far the best to have that in because of the way that it spaces out the floor and stuff like that but you guys still can do like the deep hash rim run thing without this playbook and again i'm going to touch up on that in the video or in the uh, gameplay but like i said the playbook i'm going to be using is the 2013 heat playbook and again i talk about this in every single video my coach is nick nurse everybody always asks me why i don't know i just i've used him since the beginning of the year i've had no problems so you really can get away with anything else like terry stotts is really good steve kerr is really good mike d'antoni is really good and also if you guys don't know mike malone is actually one of the more like efficient coaches to use in this game i talked about this in yesterday's video i'm going to be bringing you guys an updated video on the best coaches and kind of why each coach is good what kind of fits your play style and stuff like that i know a lot of people have been asking for that so i got you guys with that with that i got you guys with that tomorrow and with that being said let's get right into it so getting into the game here we're gonna go to the offensive settings and all i'm gonna do is put this quick four horns flare play on that is the number one thing that i do and then the hawks 2018 freelance is the most important thing so when you see this play selection screen there's two things you want to make sure you have is quick four horns flare and pass the screen away it's by far the best thing to actually set up other than that though um obviously i'm just gonna set up my defensive settings really quick here um and then the last thing i'm gonna talk about is the coach like adaptive coaching engine make sure this is turned off because if you leave it on the, like the computer will actually change stuff for you and you don't want that and then again there's the meter on versus the meter off thing um i've talked about this a lot meter on it actually has um if you have your meter on the like the window to green goes down however you're going to be able to hit a little bit more full whites um if your meter is off you're actually going to be able to green a lot more shots which i do recommend doing and that is like the number one thing that you want to make sure that you are able to do let's go t-mac there we go another easy green finally starting to knock down some of these shots man 
like I said, we're getting wide open looks. We're just not being able to green them. So I might not show you guys a lot from that first quarter because we actually shot a terrible percentage and they were on all wide open looks. So that pull up shot right there, I was kind of talking about a lot, is one of the best shots that you guys can take in this game. That is honestly the first shot I think you should be looking for every time down the floor. Now, the thing is, if you see somebody is defending that, don't throw the ball. Like, don't try to force it because that is obviously just going to lead to turnovers and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that is one of the best shots that you guys can take just mainly due to the fact of like you're going to get open and it's very easy to green basically every single time. Why are you going under the screen? Like another form of offense you guys can run is this quick four horns flare play. Obviously one of my favorite plays to run in this game. Um, It does kind of give you wide open opportunities like all over. That right there again should have been a freaking dunk. But like again, that's how this game is playing. I told you guys, this is just a very weird game right now. We're just getting a lot of weird animations, missing a lot of wide open shots and stuff like that. It is what it is, though. We're still in the lead, so that's all that matters, I guess. Let's go. Good good double team. I don't know how that was a wide open shot, but it's all good. So we're, again, we're going to take advantage of that deep hash. We're rim running, we're hop stepping, and we're going to get a nice little and one dunk with Paul George in the paint. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the little hash marks here on the side of the court, you guys can see I'm going to run to a Paul George. This right here, that is where you want to go on offense. It's just going to basically give you a wide open lane to the dunk every single time, or wide open open lane to the dunk wide open lane that leads to a dunk every single time down the floor and that's honestly what you guys want to be taking advantage of like i said it's going to give you guys an opportunity to score basically every time down the floor let's go good defense again we're sticking with them never mind because t-mac is falling and for no reason just leaves them it's all good though we still got the lead like i said we are playing terrible and the fact that we still have a lead is insane so again same thing we're gonna run right on that hash mark we're going all the way just get fouled again and then no foul call it is what it is right there is actually a perfect like example of why you want to have your center to have quick first step because you guys can see right there even a guy like Bo Bo I just blew right by good steal right there from Paul George and again right here that pull-up shot it's easy greens I'm telling you guys if you guys get used to timing that shot I'm telling you you can green it almost every single time down the floor we struggled on offense to start this game off but now we are starting to click together and things are starting to move it's literally just now kind of turning to where my opponent's just greening really dumb shots so as long as we don't got to worry about that, we'll be fine. That's a steal game. It's all good, though. He's going to get the board back. We're here. We're here. We're covering everything. Let's go. Good D. Again, perfect example. Deep hash rim running gets you a wide open layup. Again, you want to hit this hash mark. When you're running down, you almost want to run through it like it's like a race. You know what I'm saying? Like you're running through the flag at like the finish line or whatever. That's really what you want to be running through. That is how you guys are going to take advantage of that like fully. Go trap that, trap that, trap that, trap that. Let's go. I'm, oh, I thought that was my Draymond for some reason. I was like, oh, he literally just threw it right to me. That's unfortunate, but it's all good. I really thought he just threw that right to my Draymond, but turns out that's not even my guy. So again, same thing. My opponent's not paying attention. We're taking advantage of that. That's a bad look. We're going to hit it anyway, kind of getting some uh, payback, I guess, from that first quarter. So you guys are going to see here, we're going to do this pass the screen away thing. And then same thing. We're going to run right on that hash mark. We're going all the way with it. And it's going to give us a wide open corner three with AK knocking that down. Again, that's my bad for not greening. But you guys can kind of see the only real way to stop it is by doing that is by, well, there is another way to stop it, but we'll get into that another time. But, um, most people, what they're going to try to do to stop it is pull that corner guy away. And when they pull that dude away, what's actually just going to happen is you're going to be left wide open for that corner three. And that's really what you want to take advantage of. Draymond, good steal right there. I'm going to slow this down though again so I can kind of show you guys. So same thing, pass his green away here. Actually, he's just going to leave the middle of the floor wide open. I mean, I'm going to take that. You're going to leave it open. I'm going to take that. And we're green in our shots now with Draymond, which is good. Um, you guys can see we're shooting 10 of 20 from three. And that's normally an efficient part of my offense. Just unfortunately, like I said, that first quarter, we shot like two of eight. I want to say like from the field not even just from three it was just it was just terrible and again when people don't defend that it is the easiest shot to green in this game you just really got to be careful because when somebody catches on they can bait that shot very easily good pull up right there from him nice little way to green it right back I'll give it to him so again I'm looking he's still not def oh he is defending it see that is like literally exactly what I'm talking about is how you got to be careful not to get baited into taking that shot I'll give credit to my opponent there. You even heard me. I literally said, oh, he's not defending it. Oh, wait, he is as I threw it. It's all about just baiting that shot, man. And that's, again, same thing on the defensive end. It's a very easy shot to bait. How I was going to say, how many times are we just going to give this kid the ball back? I mean, come on now. 
So again, you guys can see right there, even in a pick and roll kind of thing, that deep hash rim run still just leaving me wide open for an easy three. Because again, you have to pull your guy away to defend it. Again, that's my bad. I, I don't know what I was doing. It's kind of hard to talk and play defense at the same time. I'm not going to lie because it's like it, it literally just pulls my focus away. So I actually could have hit T-Mac again for that uh, rim run right there for that deep hat or the uh, pull up. I mean, same thing again. Wide open, easy threes. Honestly, it's just like once you guys get it down to, I'm telling you guys, just kind of reading your opponent and figuring out what they do. It's very easy to pick apart their defense and stuff like that. So again, my opponent is not able to defend screens very well. So I'm going to start taking advantage of that with a guy like Stephen Curry. Now that peekaboo thing that you guys can see right there, we're going to get wide open, easy greens on that three, and we're knocking that down very efficiently. Obviously, it's my boy Curry, so I'm not going to be missing greens, but this is where I was talking about having a guy like Wade, T-Mac, Brandon Roy, Walter Davis, Curry, Westbrook maybe, John Wall, all those kind of fast guards that can come around the screen really quick. You hit like the little hezzy, well, you kind of hit the hezzy into the screen, and then you flick up on your stick to kind of slow it down. It's very nice. So I'm going to show you guys again. Same thing, look, you're going to crawl, well, Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. So you're gonna cross, oh, yeah, okay, Dino, Dino, bro. All right, see, so maybe Jonathan Isaac will do it. So Isaac's gonna come set that screen, easy roll to the rim. That's an easy dunk right there. Apparently, we didn't wanna call for a screen that time. I'm trying to show y'all how to do it, but like I said, my man Dino just didn't wanna set no damn screen. Look at, bro, look at Curry, man. You cannot tell me that this man's not a GOAT. I'm gonna show you guys this one more time here. We're gonna use this screen with Curry. We're gonna get wide open here. Again, that's an easy wide open look. Even if we don't hit it, we got a guy there for the rebound. Good, good. You know, I, I respect that. That was good. Uh, that was good, like rotations and stuff like that. Same thing though. We're gonna get that wide open three. Again, if we don't get it, we're there for the rebound. Easy layup again. That's my bad for not greening those shots. But you kind of get the point when you're running that pick and roll offense and like that kind of like heads into the screen and stuff like that. It's it actually helps a lot for getting again wide open threes. And then also, if you miss the three, 99% of the time you'll have somebody in position for a rebound. And on top of that, you'll also have like somebody rolling to the rim to give you an easy dunk as well. We ended up picking up the win right there. We actually ended up shooting a lot better of a percentage than I thought. Um, I accidentally hit exit right like right when the game ended. I was just doing this and yeah, I obviously actually ended up end, or I accidentally ended up quitting out. But we pick up the W, which is good. I will take that. So I'm gonna be live streaming actually after you guys see this video on Twitch. We're gonna be going for this Glenn Rice on my account, obviously, you know, using the squad. So uh yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and uh yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered and obviously most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day, um, depending on whatever we're playing. Um, well, obviously just depend on my mood for that day, but my Twitch is on the screen, twitch.tv slash bio2k with an underscore and you guys can see it on the screen. Um, and then also, obviously I do have a Twitter. If you guys want to drop a follow over here as well, the links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, peace.